In 1871, rumors of volcanic activity prompted scientists to explore and document the Yellowstone area. It's just another world. It's I know. Another world. It really is. Whoa! Today on Finding Our Someday, we are going on a bus tour to Yellowstone! Welcome to the FOS bus! This is one of the top four places that we recommend you, you see. I don't know why this is so fascinating. Ah. I hope that nothing in the RV actually froze. We need water. All right, so this is the day we've been waiting for, our tour through Yellowstone. We're tour bus directors. I've never been a tour bus director. So when the bus is showing up right now, it might rain later, but I don't think it matters. Yellowstone is so incredible. You know it's gonna be a good time when there's someone on a loudspeaker yelling at you. Jess made these gift bags. We're excited to share. You know, our limited knowledge about Yellowstone, I tried to brush up a little bit, but I'm excited. This is gonna be fun. Is our bus here? No. 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 Oh, we're still waiting on one bus, our bus, uh, before we can load up everything that we brought and uh, get going. Good morning, we are headed off on our Yellowstone day today and right now we are all working together to pack lunches. So we have catered lunch for everybody. We have five buses that are taking people in for a Yellowstone adventure. Yesterday was so fun with our ATVing and now we're excited to show some of our FOS crew members who are on our bus and some new friends, some of our favorite places in Yellowstone National Park. Oh, there's our bus. So today on Finding Our Someday, we are going on a bus tour to Yellowstone! Oh, wow. Sweetie, how are you? Good, I'm Jesse. I'm Will. Nice to meet you, Will. We're excited to be on your bus today. Thank you for coming. Oh, you're right, my mouth is Cory had to move the truck, so we have to pick him up a lot. And run! Nickerson, run! All right, let's roll. Okay, we're right, doing a parade right. through the old oh, campground. Yeah, here we go. I like it. On your right, coming up here. This is a Grand Design travel trailer. <laughs> <laughs> we lock it. We got it. We got it. We got it. I'm a mess. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to do it. Uh-uh. No. Oh, it's no. It's really tight. You got it. I think you got it. Oh, it works. Oh, it's going to be, oh, he's going to be a something. Yeah. 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 Thank you to everyone who requested to be on our bus. We love you all. We're so grateful that you're not only here with us, but here for the Lifford Getaway. Will is our driver today. A big hand of applause for Will. When we get to Grand Prismatic and we take the walkways around, they are very slippery when they're wet. Can I you put shoes on. Yeah, Corey's got shoes on. He's not wearing sandals. Oh, serious then. And jeans. And, 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 and jeans. I don't know if anyone saw it. Corey's wearing pants today. Like, Welcome to Yellowstone! In 1871, rumors of volcanic activity prompted scientists to explore and document the Yellowstone area. A year later, Yellowstone became the world's first national park. Land set aside as a place for all to experience nature's wildness. All right, so our first stop is Lower Geyser Basin. Um, the otters paint pots. Uh, There's so many different names. We've never been here. There are no other places like this on the face of the earth. I can't make the sun rise. I can't tell you why I would even try. I don't know why this is so I can't <laughs> speed up or slow down the time. And I can't tell the sky to rain or the stars to shine. If you're interested in hydrothermal features, this is one of the best spots in the world to view them. Next up, we are heading to one of our most 
favorite places in Yellowstone National Park. As everyone can see by the hats that were sold that so many people are wearing, which I love. That is Grand Prismatic and all of the different colors are different temperatures of water. We just want to make sure you guys understand the different bacteria and how beautiful it looks and why it's there. And there are some issues that the park has had in the past. They're throwing things into the springs and it's actually messing up the colors. So we're always trying to make sure that people know, please don't throw stuff into the springs. We want the colors to stay beautiful for everyone to see forever and ever. Grand Prismatic is one of our absolute favorites. The place that we're going is the actual Grand Prismatic site. And you can come out and walk all the way along the edge and see the color. If it is really cold outside and the steam is like really big, it's hard to see the color sometimes. So if you are ever back in Yellowstone and have time, our suggestion is that you take the Fairy Falls Trail up to the Grand Prismatic Overlook because you're up elevated a little bit. You get Corey's drone view and you can see the colors a little bit more vividly and clearly. I'm hoping that uh, the weather is good enough today so that we can see colors while we're walking around. All right, so we have made it to Grand Prismatic, and this is typical Grand Prismatic. I don't think we're helping the situation. We just showed up with 250 people, <laughs> but look at look at how many people are here. So awesome! It is our favorite thing to share some of these like <laughs> incredible places with <laughs> others who have never been here before. So this is like making us so happy. It's seeing it for the first time yourself and then you see it again and you're a little bit more relaxed but when you get to share it with with new friends 250 of them and and uh, enjoy their enthusiasm <laughs> all over again i love it it's amazing the it's snake oh my gosh, look at him Where? 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 the snake Where? he's right there he's oh, coming out first wildlife in yellowstone i was not expecting to be a snake that's right right <laughs> the snake <laughs> It's amazing every single time we come. Like, it doesn't matter what the weather is, it doesn't matter what time of year it is, it's always spectacular. It really is, and when the steam, if you see it right, you could see the colors reflecting of the respective colors in the spring. In the spring, yeah. When we drove up here, you could see like the reds and the blues, like even from the road coming up off of the spring. This is actually a cool spot where you can look up and see where there's people up there. That's actually the Fairy Falls trail. Right so that's the Grand Prismatic Overlook on Google. It's a different parking lot than this one. So if you want to go and check out the Overlook, make sure that you uh, take the time to go over there. It's not a super long walk. It's not a ton of elevation. It's flat all the way up to almost there. And then you just take a couple zigzags up. But you get a real awesome, like almost drone perspective of what Grand Prismatic yeah, looks like. Yeah, I can go in the afternoon or pick the warmest day yep. to go up there. The warmer the air is, the less steam and the more colors you can see. Yeah. The wind's blowing across there. So cool. This is just, it's another world. It's I know, another world. it really is. This is why this is one of the top four places that we recommend you see. You have to see it. So, Yellowstone is unlike any other place in the world. We say, you need to see some big trees, you need to see Yellowstone, you need to see a glacier, and you need to see the Aurora. Wherever you can go to see the Aurora, do it. Do it. trip they started in Alaska they're going to Panama in South America isn't that cool that's awesome you ready the movie starts in one minute and then it's a 15 minute video and then I think we're gonna have like five to ten minutes before that erupts yeah so you gonna watch a movie come on let's go watch the movie what kind of movie are you gonna watch 
We're going to watch a National Park movie. National Park movie. National That's Park right. Movie. That's pretty good. Geyser is one of more than 10,000 hydrothermal features located throughout the park. The park is just a howling wilderness of 3,000 square miles, full of all imaginable freaks of the fiery nature. Now I know what it is to sit in throne within the clouds of sunset. Richard Kipling, 1907. In 1871, rumors of volcanic activity prompted scientists to explore and document the Yellowstone area. Artist Thomas Moran and photographer William Henry Jackson accompanied the expedition. And through their paintings and photographs, Yellowstone captured the hearts and imaginations of the American people. A year later, Yellowstone became the world's first national park. You ready? All faithful in the rain. It's so beautiful. We are actually coming back into the park after this event. We're staying over to Fishing Bridge, so I'm really excited because we've never done that before. No, we've never stayed in that area near the lake before, so that's gonna be awesome. There's still so many people out here. So many umbrellas. I was really hoping to take a walk down to Morning Glory, but maybe next time. I think that's out for this, this it's trip. It's because it's like a mile down there. It's a, it's a long walk. If it's nice weather, it is so worth it. So please take the time to get those steps in and go for a little walk out to Morning Glory. Where'd Nathan Marissa go? I don't know. They We're have bright for color. You gotta look for those rainbow jackets. Jacket. Let's go find them. All right. These are my favorite jackets that the mosses have ever had because we can find you guys anywhere. Especially <laughs> JJ. <laughs> JJ's ready. Our little frog. Okay, where's the guys? Where's JJ? Is it coming? Is it gonna come up? It's gonna come up right behind you. Okay. I'm trusting you. <laughs> She's got the best seat in the house. Uncle Jim's the best. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> All the commentary before there we go. before the action. Well, there's so many teases. Oh, 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 oh. Is it another tease or is it for real? Come on. Those birds are right above it. That would know, kind so of be crazy. not good, but. Anybody like fried chicken? <laughs> what do you think? Is Paul massively impressed? Oh, he said, is that it? <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it. That is Old Faithful. Here, I'm handing this off because I'm Old holding Faithful. 10 things at the same time. And uh, I think we're going to get it one more chance. So hopefully there's some blue sky behind it next time. Probably not, but we'll see. really cool. It's time now to go get some ice cream. <laughs> Paul's like, what Paul's are you guys waiting for? Paul's himself up. He's like, what's that? Corey Nickerson. Corey Nickerson recording.
our day has come to an end. Thank you so much for being on the FOS bus. Woo! 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 I've never been on a bus tour guide before, so this was a new experience, and you guys were the best. We were so excited that you were here with us. Please give a huge hand of a round of applause for our driver, Will. All right, when we pull in, one thing that we have not done yet today is get a group photo, and there definitely needs to be a, an FOS bus photo. So when we get off, we're all just going to come around the, the bus really quick. Corey's going to get a photo quickly, and then you guys will be off to rest until dinner, which is at 6.30. So we'll see you guys at dinner. Thank you for everything. So much fun today. Gosh, that was awesome. time lapse really beautiful morning but this this is not good everything is frozen the water's frozen I hope it's just frozen here so I got our little I got our little heater I'm trying to warm this sucker up because it's frozen the brick getaway has wrapped and it really is time to head south because I don't like this well, I don't mind it, but RVs are just not equipped to handle these kind of temperatures. So I hope that nothing in the RV actually froze. I don't even know what it got down to. Must have been cold though. Time to go find some warm weather. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Did it freeze up? Ours did, yeah. Yeah. How about yours? He undid ours. Oh, he's smart. Okay. <laughs> you know he's an RV tech. You know, we'll get it I don't know. I should have thought of that. Right. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, this has got to be... Uh, it's getting mushy. We might have a chance now. Hopefully this is the only thing that actually froze. Oh, we got movement. We got movement. Oh, yes. I think we're in business. Right, let's see. Cut. Cold. Still going. Okay. Nothing's frozen. So it was just at the spigot, about four feet of the hose. Yes. Good news. Nothing internal froze. Oh, thank God. This is not what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> well, I guess the smart people unhooked their hoses last night. I didn't even think about it. Like, we kind of had. We've had a lot of cold nights already. I yeah. Didn't, I didn't think anything was different about and it didn't get colder in here with a heater running than it did when we were in Grand Tetons. But we didn't have a hose hanging out outside because we were boondocking. Well, I don't know if it's because we're right at the edge yeah. of this field and more cold air and we're the lowest. Maybe. I don't know, that thing froze solid. <laughs> Nothing broke. That's awesome. Nothing no, the, broke. No, the fittings or anything? Everything's nah, good? No, everything's good. Alright. I was just worried that we had frozen something internally and we didn't. But that just means one thing. 
but time to head south. <laughs> yeah. So with you. unfortunately, we're not actually heading south yet. We are going back into Yellowstone. We're going to Fishing Bridge, a campground we've never been to. Yeah. And we have kind of a local guide, so I'm getting really excited to go into the park and see some of the other stuff we haven't seen in a while. Maybe some wolves. I really want to see a wolf. I know. But a bunch of people went in yesterday and saw tons of wildlife. They saw a bunch of bears, yeah. like, so hopefully they'll be coming out. Lipper Getaway is a wrap. Wonderful time. It's sad to see every, everybody's kind of rolling out right now. I've been saying my goodbyes I last know. night and tonight, so it is sad to say goodbye. I can't believe it's over already, but. We had such an amazing time. So much we fun. had a ton of our FOS crew members here, so we had that amazing dinner the first night. We were here, it was so fun to connect with everyone. It's honestly, our favorite part is getting to see like our crew members and other people that we've met on the road meet each other and connect with each other. So I've seen people posting on Facebook like where they've gone from here and they've like gone to places that we've all been talking about like when we were on the bus and yeah. stuff and other people that they met on this trip are now commenting under their Facebook posts and it's just, it's just so it's fun. Community, that's what, you, that's what we're building. And as soon as you meet someone on the road, you are, 100% assured to see them again down the road whether you plan it or not. <laughs> it's the best. It's one of the things we love about the RV community. It's one of the things we love about the Lipper Getaway and we're very excited for next year. They announced it's going to be in Gulf Shores, Alabama. So, so yeah. warmer than this year. <laughs> warmer than this year. <laughs> Corey's rig and wash service as you exit the getaway. <laughs> dog named Tater. They call their dog T, I found out today, right? So a lot of people call me T. You can see where this is, you know, it could be kind of confusing. So we're sitting on the bus, we're on Yellowstone, obviously, and I'm just like, you know, enjoy the scenery, whatever. And Christina Conlin is talking to Paul, because I think you asked him what he was looking at on his phone, and I don't remember what he said, but then Christina was like, oh, I thought you were just looking at your photo album of T. <laughs> And I was like, slowly turning around. And they see that I'm like responding to this and I was like, yeah, that's not creepy at all. It was so creepy. But just to be clear, it was an album of their dog, but it got my attention. I thought it was funny, so I thought I'd share it with you. 